Hi, I'm Barbara Schneider. I'm a textile artist who lives in Woodstock, Illinois, which is in Northern Illinois, about uh, 50 miles or so from Chicago. I've been working in textile arts for about 22, 23 years now, and this is my uh, seventh time in Quilt National. Almost all of my work is based on the concept of wabi-sabi, that is finding beauty in things that are old or um, decaying or very ephemeral. And most of my work over these past years has in some way uh, been connected to the forest, the woods, the prairie, and conservation in general. So my piece in Quilt National this time is called Forest Floor Tree Bark Fragment Variation 5 and it is a very large dimensional piece. And um, I've been working on those now for a few years. Before that, I, I shaped things in different ways. But right now, what I'm using is Foss Shape, which is this material. It looks like a quilt bat. It has some thickness to it. And what its properties are that are so great for the work that I'm doing, is that it reacts to heat. And when you heat it, uh, it will shrink. So you can use that property to basically um, make ridges and shape things in, in ways that you couldn't do very easily in other ways. And I have a few examples here. So um, like this piece is has a lot of stitching in it first that I've um, then heated all of this. I've heated it enough that it's actually breaking up, but it has become much more um, stiff in that process. Here's another piece that's part of uh, something I'm working on right now. So you can see that ridges and all that are in there. And it's possible to sew on it, to needle felt it, to do all kinds of things, to paint it. Um, so that is the process I'm using to create pieces like what are currently in Quilt National. What I do for inspiration is that I collect as I walk, and I walk a lot in the woods, uh, observing what's, what's happening there because it's a great source of all kinds of imagery for my work. But I also pick up little bits and pieces of branches or tree roots, things that have a, an interesting shape that I feel that if I make them much larger using the Foss shape and my methods that I'm currently using, that I can make them much more visible and interesting to people. Um, so that's my current process. Um, there are a lot of pieces related to the forest. Um, in different ways. I've also done things, a whole series on tree rings, a whole nother series on, on leaves, the leaves that are decaying and, and are eaten by beetles and things like that. And I find all that imagery quite fascinating. Um, my, let's see, what else can I tell you? I can tell you that my background, um, before I really worked much in textile arts, was in educational publishing. Um, I have done a lot of work as a designer and as a paper maker, and now most of my work is textile and or I am working out in the conservation area doing things like seed collection and phenology studies and things like that. And I find that these two parts really work together for me. Uh, one informs the other, and that's a really great thing to have happen. I'm honored to be in Quilt National yet again, and it was wonderful to win the Sakwa Award this year. That was very special. Um, one other piece of news would be that I have an upcoming show that will be hung next week in Bloomingdale, Illinois, and it's called Observations, Walking in Wonder. And what it will be is a gathering of all these various um, kinds of works, the dimensional works, the tree ring works, um, all those kinds of pieces in one place. And that's, that feels very good to, to be able to see them all 
in one place at one time and get kind of the full effect of it. So thank you for this opportunity to, to talk to you. Thank you.